I'm Van Kelly, and uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Mena Home. The Mena Home, and it's inspired by Matt. It was his vision, extremely symmetrical. He basically wanted to make it look like it was another prairie home that just rose up out of the ground. That was his vision. That was how he wanted to put it. He wanted a home that maximized the space and the layout, but still feel like a home. Be able to entertain, but still be able to sleep there and just love it. The Menas are awesome. They're a wonderful, wonderful family, and I'm extremely proud to be part of that project. This was Matt's vision from day one, and I, I feel like we did a really good job accomplishing his vision. It's truly awesome. The home's meant to entertain and it's truly a, a work of art. The way the different segments of the home are put together and the way the barn wood wraps to the interior of the home, so it looks like you know, that was truly a pod that was added on you know, later on. All those details came together extremely well. The driveway is so awesome as you drive in. It just draws your eye down into the, the front of the house. And the unique thing about this house is it's realistically like almost five separate buildings that are connected by bridges. Some great features about this home as we worked through the building process is the, the siding. It's a trestle wood product. It's actually antiqued barn wood that we milled to a flat finish. Over the bridges, we used a cedar jack black product. We had to make sure that the exterior anodized aluminum colors were going to match, but there was a lot of research and a lot of things that we had to work out in this home. The Mano home's got a, a lot of unique features throughout the home. The true fig plugs and switches are amazing where they're integrated into the woodwork where you can't really see the switches and they're just a little button on the wall. The inset metal base where the base is actually recessed in behind the drywalls. One of the coolest details that I like is the fireplace plaster. There's no surround around the fireplace. The plaster actually rolls right into the fireplace box and the box is actually plastered behind it. That's not an easy detail, you know, to to get where it has some integrity, but it's such a clean, simple look that it's, it's beautiful. The fire pit in the backyard with the EPE decking, you know, as it goes around into a seat with some underlit lighting. There's a lot of work there, but it's so simple that it looks easy. The main vision of the home as you walk through the house is this big six foot pivot door. And as you look to the left and to the right, you'll see these big glass walls and staircases, extremely symmetrical. Everything had to be the same plane and that was the vision. But as you walk in and you look to the left and right, it's all clean. And then as you walk into the home, it has almost that Frank Lloyd Wright feel where it's compressed and then it expands. So you walk in and these ceilings go up 22 feet and it's just incredible. The drapes are all motorized, so they motorize open and the blinds roll up to this amazing view out the back and it's extremely secluded, even though it's in the, in the heart of this Victory Ranch subdivision, it feels like you're in your own oasis. Those hidden doors are in the barn wood, just keep that symmetry and keep that, that inspiration live. You could always case the door out, and put a door handle on it. How many times I've been in that home and I still wonder where the garage door is sometimes to go into the garage and, and which way the garage door swings, because. It, it, it trips me out still. As you walk out the back, another big pivot door with, flanked by multi-slides. Everything's the same elevation to that back heated deck, to the fire pit location with the, the rolling epe down to a great fire pit. And then off to the left, it's an amazing, you know, diamond spa that's also, you know, flush and finished into an e deck. And all these created so many hinge points and elevation changes that we had to get right the first time.
The most memorable thing about the Mena residence is the amazing team that we worked with. The house itself is incredible, but the relationships that we were able to create during the process was actually equally or more monumental than the actual project. I can't thank the Menas enough for you know letting us be part of such a wonderful project and I hope that home is in the family for many years to go.